Hello everybody, it's Jen. Happy New Year. I hope 2019 is a great year for you. I have a project for Scrapping for Less today. I'm using this Stamping Bella stamp called Uptown Girls Clarissa and Camille Share a Cafe. Not a coffee, a cafe. I don't know. Anyways, it's a super adorable stamp. This is a rubber stamp. I am just conditioning the stamp with my white eraser. I like to do this the first time I'm stamping an image. I'm going to be heat embossing, so I used my embossing buddy there just to lay down some, pad some powder so that uh, nothing else sticks to the card when I go to heat emboss it. So I'm just stamping this down really well using my Tim Holtz platform. And I am going to stamp that out just a couple times so it's a nice crisp image. I'll be using some clear embossing powder. And the lines on this are really thin so um, once I get my heat tool to it, it doesn't take very long at all. I just want to heat emboss it because I am going to be using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers here to color in this image and this just helps so it doesn't spread onto areas of the card that you don't want it to. So I have this taped down to a bamboo kitchen cutting board and I'm using micropore tape to do that and I've sped this up super quick so that we're not here all day watching me color this. I wish I could watercolor this quickly. So I started out with the skin. It's very light. I was going for a soft watercolor look in the beginning. The card got very bright quickly with the colors that I chose, but that's okay. I will list all of the colors that I used on my video on my YouTube channel. Some of you may be watching this on the Scrapping for Less channel. If you haven't uh, checked out my channel, all of the information is in the description box below as well as for all my social media. So while I color, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the plans for Scrapping for Less in 2019. So in the past, every month, they've featured either one or two brands as a spotlight. So the design team would use stamps from those brands for the month. For 2019, they have changed things up, which I'm really excited about. And they are doing themes as a spotlight instead of brands. So for January, the theme, as you might have guessed, is coffee. So all of the design team members will be creating projects with various coffee themed stamps. So this is the first of two stamps that I received for my design team projects this month. I'll have another one later in the month using an adorable stamp set by Your Next Stamp. So I have the stamp in front of me. What I love about Stamping Bella is they have a colored image on the front of the package. And even though I didn't use the same colors that are on that example, I did use it as a guide in terms of putting the color in the same spots that they had a color. So for example, the pink is actually a peachy orangey on the example that they give. So everywhere that they had colored that peachy orange, I'm going to color the pink and it just helps balance out the color. They really do all the work for you, which is great. So you can just do your image in any color that you wish. So I am doing a tealy aqua color, a purple and a really hot fuchsia pink. And then I'm going to be bringing in some blacks and grays. So for the watercoloring, I am laying down the color first. And then as you can see, I'm bringing in the paintbrush afterwards with water to really soften that up and blend it out. The paintbrushes that I'm using are Ranger paintbrushes. They are super affordable and I absolutely love them. 
I'm using some Bristol Smooth cardstock today to color on. I find this is the best cardstock when you're watercoloring. I did get out of the lines a little bit here, so I'm trying to fix that up by adding some water and kind of dabbing that up with my microfiber cloth. For the purple on her dress, I do go over that a couple times. I found that I used too much water the first time. So in order to bring in more of the color, I wait till it dries a little bit and then add another coat. For the mug, I'm using a gray color. It's actually called gray brown, but to me it looks more of like a cement gray. It gave me the perfect shadowing that I wanted for this card. I really wanted the girls' outfits to pop out when the person who receives this card gets it, that's kind of the focal point of the card for me. So I am almost done the coloring. I'm just going to give them a little bit of shading underneath here. And that way they don't look like they're floating and it provides some shadows. Still trying to fix up here where I went out of the line with her boot. And now I'm going to add some black accents because I am going to be using a black piece of patterned paper. So I really wanted to tie in the black. So I'm doing the ruffles around the flower petals on her dress, the little lace ruffles on the edge of her dress and sleeve cuff. Same with this image that I'm coloring up now. And it just gives it a nice little pop. I decided to go in and fill the holes of the uh, circles on the mugs with the black as well. I'm going to add in a little bit of light gray for the steam. And now I'm going to do the inside of the card. So I thought I would use a light gray for the inside. So I'm using Memento London Fog. One of my New Year's resolutions this year in card making is to complete the insides of my cards more often while I'm making them. Sometimes, or most of the time, I don't complete them on video because I don't always know what I want the sentiment on the inside to say until I'm sending it. But for this one, I knew that I wanted the sentiment to be on the inside, so I'm stamping that up with my VersaFine Black Onyx ink, and it says coffee and friends a perfect blend now you may notice I got it a little crooked but that's okay I just used my Teflon bone folder here just to get that down a little bit more I'm going to use this rubbery fun paper this is from uh, Recollections and it was one of their Halloween paper pads a while ago it's called Midnight Magic Gold Halloween and then I'm using the Echo Park Coffee paper, which is a newer release. I'm using the black paper there. So I cut out this hello sentiment. This is an MFT die. One time with cardstock, and then the second time with that really fun rubbery. It kind of reminds me of pleather, so I thought it would go well with these really well-dressed girls. Just going to add my stamp block on that so it will adhere nicely together. And then I'm going to add on the back panel to my card base. I really love this black and white piece of pattern paper. I did cut that out with a stitched rectangle die. Same with the panel with my watercolored image on it. I'm using some double sided tape to adhere this down being very careful to make sure I have this even because you only get one chance with this double-sided adhesive. And then I just like to move my arm on that. It's a little bit warped from the water coloring. So I like to make sure that I kind of press it down and go smoothly uh, either top to bottom or bottom to top when I adhere those down to my card base. I wanted to add the hello here to the bottom right hand side of the card. I felt like that was a great spot because there was a lot of open space on this card and I thought that just brought in an added little extra detail. So I did 
let that sit a little bit under the stamp block. And now I'm bringing in my white gel pen. This is a Signo gel pen. I love this gel pen. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've really been using this quite a bit, I'd say in the last six months. So I'm just going to add some highlights around the card, just kind of here and there, and that will complete the card. I hope you've enjoyed this coffee-themed card. Stay tuned for more this month. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.